Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the best settings for your Dell G2724D monitor. This is a top notch gaming monitor, guys. And let's make the best of use of this, okay? So, first things first, what you need to do is you need to access the OSD menu, okay? After you do that, you want to navigate to the brightness and contrast settings. So, this is what I want you to adjust. Set the brightness to 75 for you know optimal clarity and contrast i want you to adjust this to 70 for excellent depth and you know color accuracy and now for color settings head over to color settings and then choose a custom color and you want to fine tune it okay so this is what you want to do choose red as 98 green as 95 and blue as a 97 okay and you can also enable comfort view if you know you're working or gaming for long hours to reduce eye strain especially at night guys you want to turn this on now for display settings you want to keep it at 50 sharpness keep it at 50 for you know those clean uh, crisp visuals and response time you want to set it to fast for you know reduced input lag and smoother motion uh, for overdrive what i want you to do is i want you to set this to normal choose normal for that balance performance and for gaming we need to do is of course you need to access the gaming settings you want to enable these options okay amd free sync slash g sync you want to enable this so depending on your gpu uh if your gpu you, you think it can actually handle this enable it okay it's always a good idea and refresh rate set your refresh rate to 165 hertz via your system settings for the smoothest experience and of course, guys, as I said, for nighttime use, you want to enable the low blue light filter in the eye comfort settings to minimize, you know, strain during extended gaming or work sessions, especially at night. And finally, guys, of course, you need to save your settings and start gaming or working like a pro, guys. And with these adjustments, you will have the best performance, stunning visuals, you know, ultra smooth gameplay. So I hope this guide was helpful to you. And if it was, guys, consider smashing that like button as well as subscribing to find your solutions. And I'll see you in the next video.